Hey there, it's Heather Creekmore. Welcome to day 28 of the Spring Break Free. If it looks like I've aged a few years between day 27 and day 28, there's a reason for that. I originally recorded this program in 2017, almost three years ago. So now here I am, straight from quarantine in 20. 20 time of the COVID-19 crisis recording day 28 for you and today I have a few lessons that I want to share with you just to kind of wrap up everything we've done over the last month you see what's happened is in 2017 God had taken me on a tremendous journey and he had shown me a lot of freedom but you don't just stop growing all of a sudden so there's certain things that God has shown me over the last few years and I want to share them with you today to kind of wrap up this month that we've had together Lesson one is about freedom. You see, one thing that I hear a lot from women who have searched for body image freedom is that they believe that freedom means they'll never worry about body image again, that they'll never struggle again. And friend, I've got to tell you, that's not true. Now wait, before you get discouraged, here's what I want you to know. Freedom does not mean you'll never be tempted again. But what freedom does mean is that you'll know how to handle that temptation. So before my body image freedom journey, a thought would come in the morning where I'd feel bogged down and, ugh, and you know, maybe it was looking at the scale or looking in the mirror. And those thoughts that followed that initial thought would bombard me all day long because I didn't know what to do with them. But what freedom looks like for me now is that thought may come in the morning. In fact, it may have come this morning while I was putting cover up under my bags, under my eyes. But what I'm able to do now is I'm able to answer back those thoughts as they come, those voices of the enemy is what they really are. Um, and I'm able to do that in a way that allows me to stay free all day long. So friend, that's what freedom looks like. Lesson two, and this is one that God's just been showing me this past year. Friend, your body is good. God created it for a good purpose for you to use. Are you always going to love your body? No. Do you have to love what you look like? No. But what you do need to do is offer your body grace and kindness. And what I think that looks like is being willing to listen to your body. You see, for many years, decades even, I despised my body so much that I refused to listen to it. It was like, hey, listen here, body, I'm in charge. You're going to do what I want to do. So we're going to go on this diet and I don't care if you're healthy or not. We're going to lose this weight. We're going to exercise this many hours a day because I don't care if you're tired or not. We need these results. And all of those behaviors were really harmful to my body. In fact, in the last couple of years, I've been diagnosed with thyroid, thyroid disease and Hashimoto's disease. And so I believe that being so cruel to my body because of my body image has actually resulted in physical health problems that I'm just starting to cope with now. So friend, my encouragement to you as we wrap up this series is you need to be kind to your body. Start listening to your body. Give yourself grace. No matter where you're at in this body image journey, it's okay. God created your body. It's a good thing. And it's okay to be kind to it. And then the final lesson for you today, day 28, is I want you to focus on what really matters. You see, I think so much of our problem is we just keep our focus on the wrong things, right? And I've heard this quote, I think I'm going to butcher it, but it's like you are what you look like <laughs> or you become what you focus on. Um, friend, focusing on your body image is a dead end street. And hopefully the last 28 days have shown you that. But I just want to emphasize it one last time as we close here. If you wake up focused on what you look like and stay there all day long, it's just going to lead you to a place of misery. So I hope that through this 28 days, you've learned to change your focus and take it off of yourself and put it onto Jesus. So as we close this 28 days together, I want to just encourage you with a couple things. First of all, I really hope that you've gotten a copy of Compared to Who. You can get it directly from Leafwood Publishers. Or if you don't want to get it from Amazon, I think Leafwood might still be undercutting Amazon's prices. So check it out there. Also, I have a brand new book coming out this September. It's called The Burden of Better. How a Comparison-Free Life Can Lead to Joy, Peace, and Rest. Okay, so how many of you have ever felt this burden, this heavy desire 
heavy focus that you have to be better. You have to do better. You have to look better. All the things better, right? Well, in this book, I explore how living a life of grace can truly set you free from that burden of better. And then finally, I'm going to invite you to participate in a program that my friend Erin Carey and I run. Uh, it's a two-week-long program on Facebook, and it's called Refocus. Erin is an integrative nutrition coach. And so what she brings to the program is the practical side of what do I eat? How do I eat? How do I exercise? What do I need to do to control stress? And what I bring to the program is a real focus on how can you become spiritually healthy? So Erin and I have worked together for a number of years and we decided that kind of both of our programs were missing something. Her program was missing the spiritual side and my program was mis missing some of the practical side. Like, okay, I know diets are bad, but what do I eat then? So together we talk about all those things that so many women coming out of body image struggle worry about. So our next session starts soon in a couple weeks, mid-May. And if you've not participated in that yet, I hope you will. We've had 100 women go through the course so far this year and the reviews have been awesome. So consider doing that. It's called Refocus. You can find out more about it on my website or on my Facebook page. Thank you so much once again for being part of the Spring Break Free. I hope you've enjoyed the program. If you missed anything, you can watch all of the sessions through my website, comparedto.me, if you're not on Facebook, or you can also watch them on YouTube. They'll be available until June 1st. So hurry, watch the content soon, otherwise it's gonna disappear. That's all for today, and that's all for the Spring Break Free. Thanks again for being a part. Bye-bye.